Hello and welcome to Somehow a Spotlight. This is Minecraft Snapshot 12W34A, and uh, this time we have been blessed with some items for decoration. Now, if we look behind me, we see a beautiful house that I made just for this occasion, and you can already see some new things. Let's just take a look, shall we? Oh dear, there's a lot of new things. Okay, first of all, let's notice this beautiful stone fence. Now, um, this was actually suggested a while ago, and finally they decided to add this into a game. It's really easy to craft, I'll show you in a second. And it's looking pretty nice. You know at the corners you have these uh, big blocks, and then for the connection we have these thin walls. Looks really nice, I like it. There's mossy stone walls and stone walls get into detail shortly. Now the next thing you'll have noticed are these flower pots. Yes, you can now make flower pots and pretty much put every sort of plant in there, which is really nice. You can put flowers in there, you could you can put cacti in there, uh, some shrubs, whatever you want, whatever you fancy. Then we have these. Now what the hell are these? Now, these are carrots. Yes, carrots. You can even plant them back into the ground if you wish. Now what we can do with carrots I'll explain later. Obviously you can eat them, though myself I cannot eat them right now because I'm not hungry. Thank you. Um, anyway, this, these are potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Potatoes! Anyway, um, you can do some things with these. I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, mainly you can apparently bake potatoes and you can make golden carrots. I'll explain in a bit. I'll show you the recipes, don't worry. Now when we go in here, we see this lovely frame which shows our map. Yes, you can now put items on the wall and uh, on certain items it creates certain effects like this map right here shows the actual map now um, we'll get to maps in a second because maps have gone a little bit rogue let's just say <laughs> um, but yeah these item frames not only can hold maps but also compasses and clocks clocks will show the actual time the compass will show your spawn location I think if they didn't change that and obviously you can put all sorts of other items into the item frames which you can also rotate by right clicking them so that's really nice looking at armor there's another thing that's new you can dye your armor yes indeed if your armor is out of leather you can actually dye it now I've dyed this armor let's check out what it looks like Right. You, obviously you get the item frames back when you break them and whatever is contained in them. And when we dress up, we're looking like a nice German guy. You know, the black hat, red tunic, and yellow pants and boots. Looking pretty nice, but uh, since we're not petty, patriotic or anything, let's choose some other colors for that you can actually wash these inside the cauldron oh crap I can't <laughs> well that went well um let's just refill this really quickly now um to dye armor obviously you'll just need two things a dye and armor now let's uh, have some Let's make the female fans happy and have a little bit of fancy colors. For example, a magenta leather cap, a purple leather tunic, and pink leather pants. My girlfriend would freak out when she saw this outfit, but, uh, yeah, and yellow boots. They don't really fit the the rest of the outfit really well. So let's uh... 
Actually, you can also combine dies, as you can see here. That makes a lot of colors possible. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's just put these back. Another thing. Oh, god damn it! I forgot to. Hang on a minute. I'm sorry about this. I have to cheat. I have to cheat. Okay, let's spawn. Let's say two wolves. Let's tame them. I actually m made some wolves before the this video, but somehow they fell th th fell through the floor and died for some weird reason. I don't know. Don't ask me about that. Anyway, as you can dye armor now, you can also dye the color of your dog. Let's call this one Blacky and this one Whitey. No racist pun intended. Um, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Have no clue. I have literally no clue. Anyway, let's continue. Let's ignore their painful screams. Oh yeah, this. Ah, awkward potions. God damn it. Actually, we have two new potions. One is the potion of invisibility. Let's try that out. And we're invisible, but our armor is not. Which is... There's a dog. Is that my dog? I think... Is that my dog? Yeah, that's my dog. What the hell? You survived? <laughs> anyway, um, it also hides the name tag if you were in multiplayer, but obviously it doesn't hide your armor. So make sure to be naked when you use such a potion. Other than that, um, when you take a carrot, actually we can just use our harvested ones, and encase it in gold nuggets, you will get a golden carrot. You can probably eat this one too, but we won't do such a silly thing. No, no, no. We will actually make some potions. Oh, what the? Oh, that the, these are already awkward. <laughs> That's awkward. See what I did there? Oh, whatever. Um. And while this is cooking up, let me show you how to make some of the things I've already shown you. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need some wool. Give wool? Give me wool? No. Give Skugich wool? Okay, it's not a valid number. Obviously, we can't do that. So let's quickly change the game mode again. I feel bad for this. Uh, right. Actually, was it? No, it wasn't wool. What the hell am I even talking about? Game mode zero. It was leather. And we're gonna need this, and I think that's pretty much it for now. Right. To make these lovely fence, uh, these lovely stone walls, all you do is arrange your stone in such a pattern, and you will get six cobblestone walls. The same with mossy stone, as you can see here, does the same. If you want to make lovely flower pots, on the other hand, you put three bricks in this formation and you'll get a flower pot. Then come the item frames. You just put... you just make the same formation of stakes you would do with a painting, but instead you put a leather, a piece of leather, inside the middle. And voila, an item frame. Wonderful, isn't it? Anyway, let's make these potions of night vision. Yes. Um, splash potions really quickly while I show you something different. Let's go down in the, into the cellar for this one. And I forgot to do something else. But anyway, as you can see over there, the, these are buttons. But they aren't made of stone. They are made of wood. Now, if you know the pressure plates, uh, their material changes their behavior. For example, if you have stone pressure plates and use the uh, and stand on them, they will activate, but they won't activate when you throw something 
on them. That is what the wooden ones do. So, the buttons are pretty much the same. You can activate them with arrows. See? Got a diamond out of that dispenser for that? <laughs> really easy task. I should have made this track longer, but hey, whatever. And, uh, oh. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that. Um, there's no crafting recipe for these yet. Unfortunately. But here's something different. See that trapdoor? It's actually placed to line up with the top half of a block instead of the bottom half. So yeah, if we were to pick this up... We can change the way it's placed. For example, if we aim at the bottom half of block, it will go in that position. But if we aim at the top half of a block, let's say that one down there, it will make it at the top. Isn't that nice? And our potions are ready, so let's try them out. It's night, that is perfect in my small little super flat world. Our wolf is chasing us and sinking into the ground. Let's make it light. Oh wow! I haven't tried that m out myself, actually, yet, so this is actually surprising myself. The way it just changes from super dark to... well, it wasn't super dark, but you get my idea. From dark to very fucking dark, uh, very fucking light. Um, so yeah. Those are some nice, uh, additions. But there's still some things we can do. For example, let's take this diamond that we won in our game. Let's just throw it the fuck inside of this. It's gone! Where has it gone? Well, let's check it out. It has indeed gone to the nether. Yes, that is right. Oh, lag. Um... If you go to the nether now, you can bring entities such as your items or your animals with you. Let's push this fucker in, and he's gone. What the hell is going on with this guy? Oh, I guess the potion's wearing off. Let's follow this, uh, let's follow Blackie into the nether. I think it was Blackie. Ugh, a little bit laggy. Ooh. It seems our dog has run off or died. I don't care. <laughs> well, that's a fail, actually. Well, goddammit, our dog died. We have to get a new one. I'm sorry, princess. Oh! Yeah, well, thank you. So our dog disappeared while we pushed it into the nether. I kind of feel bad about that now, but... Anyway, there's one more thing that I want to show you. And for that, we will make some stairs. Yes, you've heard me right. Stairs. Now, what the hell is wrong with stairs, you might ask? Let me show you. Actually, let's make two of these. Let's go outside. Now, if we place them like this, they will actually have corners now. You might not have no noticed, but the roof of my house is actually made out of those stairs. It works perfectly. It works like a charm. You can actually put them like this and they line up. It doesn't really work when you put four next to each other. And uh, something different, when you put them like this, they will make such a, such a type of a corner. And I really love that. I've been waiting for that a whole... a very long time. Isn't that beautiful? Really, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Let me show you my roof. I'm so proud of this. Oh my god, look at that magnificent motherfucker. Oh yes. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, I can still show you such things as baking a potato, I guess. Let's try it out. Let's burn some sticks for this.
and there we have it, a baked potato. Lovely. I guess we can eat it. I don't know what's happening there, but you can sure use it for something. I'm guessing it's eating. Anyway, some new changes that I can't um, show you. There's a new mop, which is apparently another boss, in fact, called Wither. He's a scary three-headed dude, as you might see now. I don't know if I'm adding any picture pictures or not. Future me. <laughs> God damn it. Um, uh, which seems to drop a wither skull. I have no clue. But I'll keep you informed on this. If a new snapshot's coming out, I will definitely show you. And uh, along with that... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, maybe favorite, maybe subscribe. Who knows? This was somehow a spotlight.